Gray striped bark. Downy service berry. Oh, yeah. service berry. This is a big downy service berry. And I said the gray stripes split into very conspicuous stripes. So whether they're, you saw one up there, like an inch branch had stripes on it. That's got the clear, look at the stripes on that thing, right? And then here it splits into stripes. So that's a, that's a pretty big downy service berry. They can get bigger than that, but they're not a giant tree for sure. They're uh, small. All right, what would you say about the buds? Red on one thumb, green on the other. Oh, it's kind of pastel colors too, isn't it? It's kind of like a Easter green, spring green, and sort of a pinky red, right? It's kind of a pretty bud. What, what about, what else would you say about the bud? What? Sharp, pointy, long. I don't know. I'm sorry. But definitely long. Not beach long, but pretty long. So I like the I like the pastel green and pink. The lateral buds literally embrace the twig. They spoon up to it. They wrap around it. I'm going to pass this around. So the laterals almost hook around the twig, like it's spooning up to it. So pass that around. Beach buds. Beach buds. They stick out like. You, you, you can use them with them, not five. So you literally come way out, like 60 degrees. Those are not, those are oppressed. Remember that word? But more than that, they actually kind of hook. Like if, uh, here. If this was the twig, my hand is the bud. They, they literally kind of go, like go like that. They hook <laughs> around it. And that one going around too, and it really, uh, shows it really, really well. And the picture it looks like it has some spuds on it. Aha, uh -huh. that's the downy part. Uh, it's very hard to see this time of year and throughout the winter. When you start to see that is when the buds swell and they begin to break. When they're breaking bud in the spring, you can see this fuzz coming out, this band. That's why it's called downy service berry. There, now that thing is also goes by two other names that are descriptive. It's known as June berry. Because the fruits, if you look at your sheets, they look like a blueberry, but they're red, and they're very, very good. You can use them exactly like blueberries. You can put them in pancakes, muffins, jams, and jellies. Eat them fresh off the plant. So it was June berry. They're called the, the tree is also called June berry because the fruit is ripe in June. It's probably some, if not the first, some of the earliest ripe mass. Most of our other berries, raspberries, blueberries, they're later in the summer. These are ripe in June. So July, they're gone. So it's some of the first food for birds, fresh food for birds. Now, so it's known as June berry. It's also known as shad bush. Anybody heard that before? Shad bush? Shad. shad. What's a shad? A it's a fish, but it comes up the ocean and goes up uh, rivers and streams and along the Atlantic. They named it shad bush because when it was flowering, <coughs> they saw it flowering, they knew shad would be running up the river. And then service berry, believe it or not, refers to the fact that when this was flowering, you could expect the circuit, circuit creature to show up. And you could then have all your funerals from the winter. You could have the services. People that died during the winter, you might have buried them. It wasn't frozen, but then the circuit preacher would come, and when that was flowering, they, it became known as the service. They, they'd have their service. A species known as sarvis, S-A-R-V-I-S, show up on deeds all over the United States. And it's 16 chains to a sarvis. Sarvis is just how they spelled service. Sarvis. And they started writing S-A-R-V-I-S. It's super, super common surveyors I know. That's a sarvis. They didn't even say the berry part. They just called it S-A-R-V-I-S.